Our service starts on page 19 of our prayer books. Return to the Lord your God, for he is gracious and merciful, slow to anger and abounding in steadfast love. Dear friends, the scriptures urge us to acknowledge our many sins and not to conceal them in the presence of God our Heavenly Father, but to confess them with a penitent and obedient heart, so that we may be forgiven through his boundless goodness and mercy. We ought always humbly to admit our sins before God, but chiefly when we meet together to give thanks for the benefits we have received at his hands to offer the praise that is due to him, to hear his holy word, and to ask what is necessary for the body as well as the soul. Therefore let us draw near to the throne of our gracious God and say together, our paragraph four, this prayer of confession. Almighty and most merciful Father, we have strayed from your ways like lost sheep we have left undone what we ought to have done, and we have done what we ought not to have done. We have followed our own ways and the desires of our own hearts. We have broken your holy laws. Yet, good Lord, have mercy on us. Restore those who are penitent, according to your promises declared to mankind in Jesus Christ our Lord. And grant, merciful Father, for his sake, that we may live a godly and obedient life to the glory of your holy name. Amen. The God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ pardons and absolves all who truly repent and believe his holy gospel. For God desires not the death of a sinner, but rather that he should turn from his wickedness and live, and has declared authority and commandment to his ministers to declare to his people when they repent the forgiveness of their sins. Therefore let us grant, let us ask him to grant us true repentance and his Holy Spirit, that we may do now what pleases him, and indeed in the rest of our lives may be pure and holy, so that at last we may come to his eternal joy through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. We continue with the responses on page 22. O Lord, open our lips, and we shall declare your praise. O God, make speed to save us. O Lord, make haste to help us. Glory to God, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Let us praise the Lord. The Lord's name be praised. We shall do that now, firstly, in reading Psalm 95 together. O come, let us sing out to the Lord. Let us shout in triumph to the rock of our salvation. Let us come before his face with thanksgiving and cry out to him joyfully in psalms. For the Lord is a great God and a great King above all gods. In his hand are the depths of the earth and the peaks of the mountains are his also. The sea is his, and he made it. His hands moulded dry land. Come, let us worship and bow down, and kneel before the Lord our Maker. For he is the Lord our God. We are his people and the sheep of his pasture. Today, if only you would hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as Israel did in the wilderness, when your fathers tested me put me to proof though they had seen my works, of whom I swore in my wrath they shall not enter my rest. Glory to God, Father, Son and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. We now have our Bible readings followed by our second hymn. 